Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling Fans Speak Out. I'm Artro. I'm here in the office of the Wrestling Fans Speak Out. Um, about the SmackDown thing, although they had their pre-sale today, although y'all heard, and it's probably already over with, and the only thing I can say is don't do pre-sales. They don't work out that well, in my opinion. They really don't. Also, you got the SmackDown show that's going on in Lacrosse and Green Bay next week, Monday and Tuesday. Well, Tuesday being the official show in Green Bay, and the house show on that Monday at Lacrosse. So that should be a good one. Should go from there. Also, the tickets for when they come here on February 23rd in Milwaukee will be on sale this Saturday at 10 a.m. I will, if I were you, I'll get there a little bit early, at least somewhere before 9 o'clock, because there's a possibility they might do the raffle, but they might not do the raffle. Depending on how cold it is and from what it seems like from <laughs> the weather report, they will be really cold. So there's a big chance that they probably won't even do the raffle. Who knows? Uh, about the history of WrestleMania, talk about WrestleMania 3 and 4, about some of the matches they had. Of course, the big match they had with Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant for the WWE Championship. He had other matches like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat defeated. Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title and like other matches they had like that. It was in Michigan. They had like nearly a hundred thousand people there. So it was kinda like the big excuse me, a big crowd at the Pontiac Silverdome. And you also have WrestleMania four which was in New Jersey, about a little over eighteen thousand people. They had like a battle roll which it seems like Ultimate Warrior had won. They also, the Intercontinental Championship was bruised the bar. BK won by disqualification, but he didn't get the title. He got uh, Hunky Tonk Man is still the champion, of course. Tag Team Champions was Devolution and Strike Force faced off. Devolution won, of course. Then they had like a big tournament, which ended up being to the main event for the WWE Championship was Macho Man. Versus the Million Dollar Man and Randy Savage had won that match. So it seems like it was a very interesting WrestleMania 4, which I haven't seen yet. Saw WrestleMania 3 and I thought it was very good, so couldn't complain there. And also, I like to say the Royal Rumble will be we will be at Papa Luigi's for that, and we will have a raffle going on that day too at Papa Luigi's. So. Get there early. More information for that will come soon. And there ain't that much going on, but the this week in local wrestling. But you just have like two shows coming up next week, next Friday, and next Saturday. Saturday will be the BCW show, and the other one is the XLW. Yeah, the XLW show in Walkershaw. The BCW show was Alice. So log on to BC. BrewCityWrestling1.com for more information on that. And look for XLW on MySpace. You can find more information and stuff like that there. And also, I would like to talk about the WWE versus TNA War. What a three hour shocker I would have to say. Although the good thing WWE did was like Shawn Michael and the Bret Hart make amends, but trying to start a few with Vince McMahon and Bret Hart but they couldn't top all the stars and stuff that they had in TNA on that three hour show like Jeff Hardy <laughs> you heard in the background cheering they had Ric Flair Hall and Sean Waltman some of y'all may know him as X-Pac he was there it was, Nasty Boys was there too so from what it seems like they might start a few with Team 3D which will be very interesting and it could be a little few going on with Beer Money and Hall Nash that might go on in the near future from what it seems like also you already know there's the match to set up for the Genesis pay-per-view that was which will be a couple of weeks from Sunday was where they already got like the World Heavyweight Championship match so far and possibly could be a tag team match Beer Money versus Hall and Nash and go from there. Also, from what it seems like, they're not done with signing big names yet. 
apparently at the Genesis pay-per-view there would be two more big names that will appear there and at the Impact show. Right now we don't know who they are, they didn't mention who they are, but the only thing we know, they're big names. So we just go from there. But the truth of the matter is, in my opinion, TNA outdid WWE that night. So it could be a possibility they could start showing impact on Monday nights. You never know. But we'll go from there and see. So we'll see what they do next week or anything else or something like that. But they will show the repeat of Monday's impact tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Y'all can catch on to that. Also, I think there's another UFC pay-per-view coming up at the end of January. If I'm right, if it's not, it's going to be like sometime next month. More information is on the website, so check that out, www.wrestlingfanspeakout.com. Also, you can get our merchandise, our hats and shirts off of eBay. Just look for Wrestling Fan Speak Out t-shirts and hats on eBay. You can find that and bid on them, buy them now and stuff like that. So just look out for that. And that will be it from here. I will be down at the Bradley Center this Saturday. Just filming the whole thing, people getting their tickets and stuff like that. Hopefully it won't be no big rise and stuff like that. So we'll see about that. I'm Artro and I will see y'all down at the Bradley Center this Saturday. Peace.